Hello, how are you? Hi, hi. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you today? Fine, fine. I'm fine. Excellent. I'm fine. Can you hear me well? Yes. Yes, oh. yes. Oh. Well, let's see. Let's go to the attendance. Hi, good evening. Hello, good evening. How are you? Fine. <laughs> and you? I'm fine. How was your day? Uh, very works. <laughs> very difficult. Yes. <laughs> difficult. Because it's not my day off. <laughs> Today, no. <laughs> Is so it just your day off? Yes, because uh, I, I changed. I changed the day. Oh, oh, I see. Yes. Your boss told you yesterday to drive yes. to... <laughs> <laughs> to drive to Sonsonat. <laughs> now, now I remember. I yes. remember. Yes, but I, I worked today. Wow. <laughs> I, I thought it was your day off today, Tuesdays. Tomorrow is my day off. <laughs> only, <laughs> only, only half day. <laughs> oh. Yes. <laughs> half the day, it's, it makes a big difference. Yes. <laughs> I know that. I have yes. two, I have two. Two afternoons, well, not the complete afternoon, but two days that I finish classes at three. So I'm kind of free in the afternoon and I feel like, ah. Oh. <laughs> and you say, oh no. <laughs> Relaxing. So it's not the same to yeah. finish to finish work at three than to finish work at okay. Right. Okay. Let's okay. see. I guess we are more. Yeah, we're nine now. Tell me present, Angel. Angel, Angel. No, he Angel. Aristides. Present. Denia. Present. Eduardo, well, Edwin. Present. Good evening. Good evening. Fatima. Fatima Sumara. Not here. Fatima yet. Isabel. Present. With Mauricio. Present teacher. With you in the street? Yes. <laughs> oh my goodness. Are in you the like park? in the park of, of... Yes. <laughs> the name of that park? Yes. I, uh, I come to the gym. What is the name of the park? It's uh, Concordia. Concordia. <laughs> oh, yes. Always forget the name of the park. <laughs> yes. Uh -huh. This is a, how do you say alcaldia? At uh, the mayor's office. That's the, yes. mayor's, the mayor's office. Yes. Yes. Sure, I'm here. <laughs> oh, the people on the street. Uh -huh. It's a central a street. <laughs> yes. You're, you're going the way to the market no yes okay. no um, 
Hello, teacher. I'm here. Hello. Hello, hello. Turistian, hello. Turistiando Maura in a Wachapan. Yes. <laughs> turistiando in a Wachapan. Hey, that's nice. I remember, I remember we passed this street a couple of times walking. Oh, oh yes? Yeah. Uh, and so many uh, times by, by, by pickup, right? Yes. <laughs> Oh, okay. And once because we wanted to go around visiting, it was a Friday, and we wanted to go around watching the alfombras that people had done just for watching, right? And oh, okay. so we were hanging around. We got there to La Concordia. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I, I have come a to. I come to my Okay, so? I have an aunt here that lives in in, in Awachapan. The pupuseria, yes. you see? Yes. Hey, you, uh, go, you go past the, you went past the pupuseria. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, this is a taqueria. Why, why, why didn't you use this when we were talking <laughs> about prepositions, come in? Yeah, <laughs> that could have been a very good option. Yes, it's a, it's a very good. Go straight ahead, and then where are you going to turn, right or left? Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. Right. For the ones who don't know Awachapan, I start Awachapan. Maria, Maria Martinez. Hello, Maria. Present, teacher. Estaba haciéndoles tiempo, eh, para que llegaras. I'm here, teacher. Okay. Ya, ya, re, ya regreso, ya regreso. Estábamos ya, ya. turisteando en Aguachapán. Aguachapán. <laughs> Otro día vamos a visitar Santa Teca. Yeah, ver, come on. <laughs> you see, I work all night. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see, my goodness. But you're not working right now, right? You're not working. No, going home. no, no. Uh, I go home and I come back to, to the gym. Oh, at 10. At 10, you come to the gym? Or, or no, you're, right you're... now, right now. Ah, okay, okay. <laughs> Marlene, Marlene, Marlene. Present teacher. Hey, very good, Marlene. Maura, I saw you. Where are you, Maura? My house. <laughs> nice, nice, <laughs> nice. Are you in San Salvador, Maura? Yes, teacher. Okay, okay. It's very hot here in San Salvador today. <laughs> it's terrible. Terrible, terrible. Oscar. Oscar, Oscar, Oscar. Oscar, no, here, Oscar. Ricardo? Ricardo? He's coming, Oscar, right now. Oscar, hello. He's connecting. Ah, oh, okay, okay. Well, when I come back then. Teresa? Teresa? Teresa has to give us a tour in Sonsonate, right? So we get to know all the departments, Sonsonate, Huachapán, La Libertad, San Salvador. Nobody from Santa Ana? Hmm? No hay nadie en Santa Ana? Acá? No. No. Teacher? Aristides, you are in No, I, I live in Sonsonate, but I think Mary, Lives in Santa Ana. Oh, really, Maria? I am here in Santa Ana City. Are you from Santa Ana? Yeah. Yes. Hey, really, I didn't know that. I didn't know you were in Santa Ana. So we have five departments represented here, right? Marlene, are you in San Salvador? Yes. No, eh, I pro in La Libertad, Santa Tecla. 
Okay, right now you are in Santa Tecla. Yes. Yes, okay, okay. So we have Angel and Marlene from Santa Tecla. Maria from Santa Ana. <laughs> and we have Aristides from Sonsonate, right? Okay. Y Teresa too from Sonsonate, okay. Ricardo is, a, is from Sonsonate too. Ricardo, but Ricardo works in Sonsonate or in Aguachapan, Luis? Works in Sonsonate and live. Sonsonate. Sonsonate. Yes. So that means that you don't know Ricardo face to face? No. <laughs> only only two, uh, uh, twice. <laughs> so twice. Uh, twice. Oh, look. That's interesting. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> imagine, imagine. Oscar, yes. Oscar, Oscar, are you here? No here, Oscar. Oscar. No? Okay. Ricardo. Teresa. No here, Teresa. What happened to Teresa? Walter? Present teacher. And Walter in Acajutla, right? Aha. Yes. All El Salvador is. For the moment. <laughs> <laughs> All El Salvador. <laughs> <laughs> Senia, they are here. <laughs> Judy? Hi, teacher. Good night. Judy. Good evening. Where are you, Judy? Where are you? In what department are you? I live in um, Tonacatepeque. Ah, Tonacatepeque, San Salvador. San Salvador. San Salvador. O mexicanos? No, San Salvador. San Salvador, ok. Yes. No conozco. Mm, bonito <laughs> le diré, súper bonito. Sí, es un pueblo. Pues sí, pues sí, es que eso es lo bonito. Eso es lo interesante. Es por el lado de acá de San José Guayabal. I, I know San José Guayabal. It's beautiful. I know the swimming pool in San José Guayabal. There is a big swimming pool there. I remember I went like long, long time ago. Long time. Okay. Para las romerías nada más. No, I went to one with a student, with a oh, student, we went with, with a group of students, we went there like whoosh, about 15 years ago, or something like that. Imagine. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> long time ago, long time ago. Angel, hello. Angel. Pues sí, ¿verdad? Se nos perdió Angel. Angel. Present, no sé por qué no, no encendí el micrófono. Present, present. <laughs> Yo dije, se fue. <coughs> Fatma. <laughs> Fatima. Fatima. No hear Fatima. Vamos a ver. Oscar. Oscar, 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 Oscar. Me pareció ver un zapato, no. Oscar, Oscar, no. Ok, Ricardo. Sí, está conectado, pero como que le fallaba la señal, dijo. Quizá, quizá. Ricardo, Teresa, Esenia. Ok, bueno, ahí está. Well, if you remember yesterday, we were making requests, right? We were making requests and uh, we were talking about two different types of requests. One was could, that was the informal one, and the other was can, that's the formal one. Today, we are going to be working only with 
כן. אוקיי? אני שובר. Remember these uh, requests we were doing yesterday? Can I borrow your pencil? Can I, right? Can I borrow your pencil? And then you say, no problem. Here you go. Can I borrow your car? What would you say? Can I borrow your car? Can I borrow your car? Yes. Never. <laughs> no. to be polite. Sorry. Sorry. si no puedo manejar. Okay. Can, can I borrow your car? How would you say that? Be polite. Hmm? Be polite. Sorry. Sorry, I'm afraid you can't because you can't drive. Okay, okay, thank you. I'm sorry you can't. Okay, I can't lend it to you, right? Okay, can he help me with the homework? What about, can you help me with the homework? We can change it. And we ask, can you? Can you help me with the homework, please? How would you give an answer? Don't say no, he's busy. Say, mm, say no, say no, but be polite. Can you help me with my homework? <coughs> Sorry, I can't. I have to. I have to do my own homework. Okay. Okay, let's do it together then. I have to do my own homework. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sorry, I can't. I have to do my own homework. Okay. What about the next one? Where is, can you give me a ride home? Can you give me a ride home? Yeah, Repeat. Sure. can you give me a ride sure. home? Sure, meet me at sure. 10. <coughs> at 10 a.m. or at 10 p.m., right? Sure. <coughs> sure. Meet me after. Sure. Mm -hmm. Sure, meet me at 10. After a uh, the class. <laughs> at 10 p.m., right? Yeah. After the class. I need something for the allergy. Loratadina o fenilefrina. No, yo guardi. Como fenilefrina y así. Bueno. Ya no me vuelven a oír el resto de la clase. Cetiricina, teacher. ¿Mm? Esa no te evoca nada. Cetiricina. Ah, la cetiricina. Muy buena. Y no provoca sueño. Nada. Para nada. Tu Some people say they fall asleep with the loratadina, but no, not in my case. <laughs> Even I take chlorfenidamina, pero algunas veces me pega, otras veces no. Pero fenilefrina me pone su propia mutanza, no. Y la, y la, y la cetiricina es así como que no dormí en dos noches. Entonces, ah, uh ah. -uh. <laughs> Ningún, yeah. ningún antihistamínico. No, clorfeniramina y loratadina, yes. 
Ah, so, y otro pa, también es, se llama es, rupantidina también, es bueno. Really, I didn't know that one. Rupantidina. Uh -huh. Rupantidina. Rupantidina, sí. Muy bueno. Nombre con el, el nombre comercial es uh, Rupax. Rupax. Ah, really? Yes. The announcement. Interesting. <laughs> la investigaremos. Only in San Roque Pharmacy. Yes. <laughs> Only in San Roque Pharmacy. No. What It's I, a good price. <laughs> what, I, what I take is equinacia. Like oh, but... Es la que me ayuda. Es no un defense. Lo que necesito es una pastilla para estar mejor. <ríe> Cualquiera. <ríe> Cualquiera. <ríe> ok. Let's see. Let's see the last question. Can you help me carry all these books? They are too heavy. What would you say? Say no. Probably. Say no. no. Say no. Half. <laughs> nah. Okay, you don't so, you don't want sorry, I can, okay. but can. Wish, wish he can. Sorry? Sorry, I can, but wish he can. He goes to gym. <laughs> oh okay. <laughs> sorry. Pero por qué no puede? I can't. Puede because I'm in a hurry, right? Yes. I'm in a hurry. Check it, que como está hablando rápido, ¿verdad? Entonces usamos mucho contraction. I'm in a hurry. Mm -hmm. Pero suena muy rudo si le dice, pregúntele algo. <ríe> Yo no, si no va a sonar como cuando su mamá lo manda a hacer algo y usted le dice, ¿por qué no le decías a mi hermanita fulana? Entonces, suena igual. Entonces, así como que... ¿Cómo le podríamos decir que le pida ayuda a Luis? Uh, can I say another one? Ajá. Uh, maybe uh, I can't. Because my arms ache. Mm. My arm ache. Well, you have a bad back, right? Sorry. I can't. Pero para que así como my arms are really painful, <laughs> right? I really and I had a, a bad back. ¿Saben qué significa bad back? Algo acerca de la espalda. Sí, me duele la espalda. Uh -huh. Uy, como la pasé mucho. Ajá, uh -huh. me duele la espalda, right? I have a bad back pain. Painful. <clears throat> so you can say, sorry, I can't. I'm in a hurry. Luis comes behind, but Luis is behind me. Como cuando dice, acá está. Acá está Luis. Para que trabaje de sonante mañana. <laughs> okay. Okay, so you can give an excuse, pero como que, que sea justificada, ¿no? Que, que no sea así como que solo porque no quiero, ¿verdad? Echarme ese poco de libros encima, sino que, ups, voy corriendo. I tell me not hurry. Como cuando, but what about it? I'm going to make you a request. Can you lend me your cell phone? Say no. No. Can you lend me your cell phone? No. No. Uh, sorry, <laughs> I can't. Uh -huh. uh, because sorry. I'm I'm waiting a, a call. I'm yes. waiting for a call. Okay, good, good. Sorry, I can't. I'm waiting for a call. Uh -huh. uh, I I received my English class. 
I'm receiving my English class right now. So sorry, I can't. I'm receiving my English class right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What other possibility would be? Mm, but that question, teacher. If in the same, uh, can the you same. Have your cell phone? Sorry, I have no cash. Manda saldo. Mm -hmm. Right? Oh. Sorry, I came because Ricardo called me. <laughs> going to call me. Okay, Ricardo is going to call me. Okay, good, good, good. Now, um, going sorry, I can. Uh, my cell phone is broken turned off. Like when my cell phone is it's right. turned off or or se apagó, no sé cómo se dice. Yeah, ran out of battery. You can say my cell phone ran out of battery. Se descargó. Right? Uh -huh. Se quedó sin carga, se quedó sin batería. My cell phone ran out of battery. Mm -hmm. Like at the beginning of the course that I told you, please take a picture, send it, because my cell phone was in the hospital. So it said, uh-uh, no. Okay, vamos next. Check. Remember yesterday, we said, we use this uh, model, Kim. Model can be used in many cases, you know, but right now we are using it to make informal requests. You can use can also to ask for permission. Can I go to the restaurant? When you're in class, right? Can I go out with my friends, mommy? Can I stay out late? Can I watch TV? Right, the children doing the homework. Papi, can I watch TV? No, do the homework. So please, right? So can I watch TV? So you can use can for asking for permission and also for making requests. Uh, so you say can the subject, right? Can the subject and also the complement. Can you write these reports, please? Can you write these reports, please? Okay. Um, and you have another example. Can you help deliver these letters today? Okay, let's see now the questions. Give me responses. Can you help me with the homework tonight, please? Can you help me with the homework tonight, please? Uh, teacher, negative or affirmative? I'm going to let you say yes this time. Yes. Mm -hmm. This time say yes. Be good. What of course. Of course, why not, right? So why not? Mm -hmm. It's too easy for me. <laughs> of course, why not? They already did mine, right? Okay, let's see next question. Can you return my books to the library, please? Can you return my books to the library, please? Mm -hmm. can't. Sorry, I can't. Why? Because I don't go to the library. I go to the uh, principal office. Oh, you were a bad boy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, yeah, you can use the present continuous in that case, right? And you say, sorry, but I'm not going to the library. So I'm not on the way to the library. I'm on the other, on the opposite direction, right? The library is there, but I'm going there. 
So I'm on the opposite direction. Okay, great. Can you take me home, please? Can you take me home? Say no okay. or say yes. What do you prefer? Sorry, I can't. I, I am work. Uh, I am working late. I'm working late today. Okay, great. Now say yes. How would you say yes? Mm -hmm. Totally. We're going at seven o'clock. Okay, perfect. Can you lend me a dollar, please? Can you lend me a dollar, please? Uh -huh. What would you say? Yes or no? Sorry, I can't. I'm out of cash. I'm out of cash. Very good. Okay. And if you can, what do you say? Uh, yes. Of course, here you go. Okay, sure, here you go. Okay, well, no problem. Pay me, pay me the 50%. <laughs> okay, yes. so I it's lend you business. <laughs> I lend you one dollar to pay me back uh, 150. Yes. Okay. <laughs> And that's right. <laughs> okay, now look at this. Let's give a response to these questions, right? That we did yesterday. I'm going to Lisa later. Can you say hello for me? What would you say? How would you respond that question? How will you respond that? Yes, it's a pleasure. Okay, yes, it's a pleasure, great. Okay, I'm going to let you ask one of these questions. And you can also ask the questions you wrote yesterday and choose a victim to give me the response. Okay, there you go. Who wants to be my first volunteer? Volunteer? Mm -hmm. Okay. No, me. <laughs> the questions uh, right uh, yesterday in the final of the class. Yeah. Okay. Okay. My victim is. <laughs> uh, quiero ver. Vamos a preguntarle a. Porque estamos en el mismo rubro. Aristides, vamos a preguntar a Aristides okay. <laughs> para que sienta lo mismo que yo. <laughs> Nos okay. identificamos. <laughs> okay. 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 Um, could you write a final report for the student who haven't yet sent their homework, please? Eso dolió. <laughs> okay. Of course. I can't, but I'm going to need uh, your... Uh, can you repeat the question? Yes, yes, of course. Could you write the final report of the student who haven't yet sent their homework, please? Of course. I'm going to do it um, when the final report from the student that has sent the, the homework is done. Thank you. OK. OK, so you will write the report when it is finished. So who will write it then? Oh, I meant that he, he asked me the report uh, from the from the oh, student that oh, hasn't oh. hasn't sent the oh, homework oh, yet, oh, so oh. I'm gonna I'm gonna have that report after oh, I check the people that has sent 
oh, their homework. Okay, 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 okay. Now get it. Mm -hmm. After you check all the assignments, very good. exactly. Yeah, exactly. And this period is for you too. Okay. You have two for Friday, okay? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. <laughs> I'm going to try. Uh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I don't much promise anything, I... but I will try. <laughs> I have too much time. Today is Tuesday. No. Okay. I know. <laughs> okay. Good. Good. Let's see. Let's have another volunteer. Another volunteer and another victim chosen by the volunteer. Who wants to be my volunteer? Mm -hmm. Who wants to be my volunteer? Okay, Aristides, vámonos que el que el, al que le preguntan, pregunte, right? Así no perdemos hilo. A ver, Aristides. Okay. Uh, but my question is uh, a little bit uh, for education area. Let's see. Or or I'm gonna I'm gonna um, I can I can yes I can ask Maura is a teacher no what do you do Maura Maura what do you do um, I I'm gonna I'm gonna ask to Yesenia. Okay. Yesenia is a teacher, yes. It's a Yesenia teacher. is a teacher too. A teacher, yeah. I was looking for the teachers. Uh -huh. Yes. Yesenia. Y Teresa is a okay. teacher. Yes, right. No. Yes. Yes, but she is not here. No, she's not here. Okay, ask Yesenia, Yesenia, ready? Yesenia, could you prepare the last events of the year, please? Would you mean the graduation? Mm, no, no. Kind of. Yeah, the graduation. Mm, events. Or, or, the closing, uh, uh, or the closing ceremony. Uh, because those the are two different things. The closing. The closing ceremony. The closing okay. ceremony of the year. Me está preguntando si le voy a ayudar en la graduación. No, que si usted uh, puede organizarla. Ah, que si yo puedo organizarla, ok. Uh -huh. eh, tengo que hacerle una pregunta. No, tiene que decirle que sí o que no. Okay. Um, sería con uh, yes. Uh, I can. I can. Este help help you. Uh, in the graduation. Algo así. Sí, you tell him. Yeah, of course, I will be very happy to help you. I already. I'm already cooking a couple of ideas. Right. Ya estoy pensando en qué voy a hacer. <laughs> y así voy a como que empezar a pensar. Really. Ok. Very good. Thank you. Yesenia, now, Yesenia, ask a question to another partner. You choose the victim who will answer. Uh, Luis? Luis, are you home? Yes. Ah, ok. I go home. Yo le tengo que preguntar algo a Luis, ¿verdad? Yes, yes, tell me. <laughs> ok. Um, can you... Okay. Él traba. Él eh, he works in a pharmacy. Can you, uh, can you help me attend a pharmacy? For me? Algo así. Can you help me attend a pharmacy? ¿Cuándo? When? <laughs> Today, tomorrow. Tomorrow is his day off, so you can ask him that paper for two yes. minutes. 
por Luis. Es yo por Ricardo. Yeah. ¿sabes? Aproveché a decir que no, que no está Ricardo. Ahí está, ya Ahí está, pues no, tiene que decir que sí. Ah, pues no, tenemos que decir que sí. Ok, Luis. Of course, yes, yeah. I can, I can, I can you help you. Of course, I can help you. Recuerden okay. que, en la, que en la respuesta no vamos a decir yes, I can, ¿verdad? Sino que sure, of course, why not? I'm mm -hmm. willing to help, right? I'm very happy to help you. Uh, yes, yes. yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I would be very bored at home, so I would better go to the store. <laughs> pharmacy. <laughs> okay, very good. Okay, Luis, your turn. Okay. Uh, my question is for Walter. <laughs> my victim is Walter. For tradition. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I am here. Tradition, tradition. Okay, okay. Walter, can you help me with with a problem with my my computer? Um, sure. <laughs> right now. And you says and you says no, no, I can. <laughs> you said yes. Because, sure, why because... not? Right now. Sure, right now. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Perfect, perfect, Walter. Now your turn to ask. Ay, my victim. ¿Qué pasó, Ángel? Ah. Yeah. <laughs> Marisa Lenis is, is, is... Ahí está Marlene. For the reason I... 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 <laughs> is I raised a hand. Marlene. Marlene, Marlene. Venia. Vaya, Marlene. Marlene, hiding. My... My question is, um, Marlene, could you visit the bank for the hospital tomorrow? Could you visit the, the bank to make a deposit tomorrow? Yes or not? You can say no if you don't want. Right. I'm sorry. Uh, no. I can't. Uh, no, I didn't. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm, you can say, I'm sorry, I can't. Give an excuse, remember, right? When you say, I'm sorry, I can't, you have to give an excuse. Why not? ¿Por qué no? Porque me da miedo dar dinero de otra gente. Right, I don't like to carry money that is that belongs to other people. Would be a good reason, very valid reason, right? Okay, Marlene, your time. Ask your request to Judy, Isabel, Edwin, Denia, or Maria. Maura estaba por allí. Si no hay a las suyas, Maura, eh, Lau, eh, Marlene, puede preguntar una de las que están acá. Um, a Yuri. Uh, Yuri. Um, Yuri. Yuri. Um, Yuri, Yuri. Yuri. Pregunte. Hola. Hola. Escondida. Aquí estoy. Vaya, ask Marlene, ask Judy. Marlene me va a preguntar a mí o yo a ella. Marlene le va a preguntar a usted y usted le va a preguntar a María, a Denia, a Isabel o a Edwin. Uh -huh. Okay, Marlene. You can, you can, can my, you, can you, can you, can you, can you, my, we, uh, product in the supermarket. 
y ella me puede comprar un producto en el supermercado. Can you buy me a product in the supermarket? Yes, I help me the product. Uh -huh, yes, sure, why not? Just tell me what you need, right? Okay, great, Judy, very good. Okay, Judy, your turn. You yeah. ask. Um, Edwin? Yes. Can, can you help me send a report, please? Can you help me? The, can you help me the report, the report, please? Write the report, send the report, check the report. Mm -hmm. What do you want him to do with the report? Can you help me send the report, please? Okay. Can you help me send the report, please? Yes, of course. Okay. Yes, of course. Not a problem, right? Okay, Edwin. You have there Mary, Denia, and Isabel. Le voy a preguntar a Isabel. Ay, Maura. Maura, te escondidita para que no la veamos. Ya la vi. Isabel. Ok, Isabel. Could you stay more? Can you repeat? Could you stay? Could, could you stay working? Tomorrow, ladder. Would you stay late tomorrow? Would you stay late, working late tomorrow? Can you work late tomorrow? Isabel? So you say yes. Yes, of course. Yes, of course. Of course, very good. Now, Edwin, no, Isabel, your turn to ask. Okay. And Denia. Denia. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm leaving for a lunch. Would you like to come? Denia, 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 no, quizás no le funcionó el audio. Quizás le falló el audio a Isabel, pero ahí está Maura. Ah, ya vi. Okay, ya vi. Ya está vi. Maura. Uh -huh. Repite. Eh... I'm. I'm leaving for a, for a lunch. Would you like to come? Maura? Entendí cortado todo lo que dijo. He said, I'm leaving for lunch. Would you like to come? You decide if you say yes or if you say no. Uh, no, no. No thanks. I'm not hungry. No thanks. <laughs> right, you can say, mm, 
Okay, no, I'm so sorry, but I'm not hungry, right? Okay. Okay, let's see the Maura, ask Mary. Hi, no, it's not. Ask Mary. Maria. María, eso nos perdió Maura. No, Hello, teacher. Hola. Por ahí Hola. estaba Ma Maura, le iba a preguntar algo, pero creo que se nos perdió. Ah, vaya. Está bien. Maura. Maura, Maura. Así, así, tu ojo. Este, este. Sí, go, ah, se nos perdió Maura, ¿verdad? Sí. Yes. Bueno, María, then you ask. ¿A quién? ¿Quién nos falta que le pregunten? Denia. María, ask Denia. Hola, le tengo que preguntar una de esas interrogantes. Sí, la que yo guste, la que usted quiera. You are Denia, Denia. Hola. Denia, Denia. Sí. Denia. Can, can you get me a bag of chips, please? Tía, 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 tía. Sure. Yes, I can. I can have. Uh, I can have bag of chips. Okay. Yes, of course. I can get you a bag of chips. Right? Sure. No problem. Okay. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Now look at this other request. Could you get a present for my mom, please? What would you say? If somebody tells you, would you get a present for my mom? ¿Qué le dirían ustedes? ¿Se lo concedirían o no? Of course. Of course. Yeah, it's for them. Claro que sí, yes. Can you get me a big Coke? Can you get me a big Coke? Sorry, no. Why not? It's a bad for the, for the health. It's bad for your health. Definitely, I agree with you. <laughs> okay, could you make only, a... only is a, a, a example because the big cup is a it's different, um, right? Different, yes. <laughs> big cup is la, la big cola, no mm -hmm. coca cola, it's different. Exactly. <laughs> la big cola. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Vamos a ver. Check this. Here I have some some information check when or how do we use can and we have been talking about this check we ask it to ask for something right we use can to ask for something to ask to do something right can you bring me a soda can you open the door for me can you close the door? Can you close the window? Can you lend me a pen? Can you play with my children? Can you take care of my children? Can you feel the pet? So we, when you ask some, somebody, right? To ask somebody to do something. Okay? So you ask to do something. You ask somebody to do something for you. Also, uh, when you ask for something, can you lend me? Can you lend me your pen? Can you lend me your car? Can you lend me a dollar? See, this is the ask for something. To ask other people to do things for us, right? So this is kind of similar to this one. Yeah. 
Or in this case, we could say like, mm, can I go to the party? Can I go out? Can I stay in? Can I leave early? Sí, sería este. Can I leave early? Can I close the door? Can I close the window? I'm cold, can I close the door? Or there is too much noise, can I close the door? It's very hot, can I open the windows? See, and this is right? And here we have some examples of questions. So you say, can I open the window in here? Can we sit here? Can I ask two coffees and cook, please? Can I have two coffees and a cook? Please. Uh, can I have? A, can Can you help me, please? Can you help me? Sure, no problem. Can you help me? Can you lend me a pen? See. Another situation. Remember, we use or we ask. Uh, with can and it's informal, right? But even if we want to be polite, we can say, or we can add please to the question. Can you get me the menu, please? So it's, it's informal, pero no rudo, right? Puede ser también un poco polite si le agrega la palabra please. Sí? Can you tell me the time, please? Can you tell me the time? So I don't say only, can you tell me time? But you add the word, please. And that makes it, that makes it polite, right? Any question here? No question, teacher. Okay. And here we have some examples of replies, right? So when I ask you, can I open the window in here? Sure, go ahead. No problem. Or, or you say, no worries, right? No te preocupes, hazlo, no? Okay, um, sure, sure. Yes, sure. Or you say, yes, of course you can. Can I open the windows here? Yes, of course you can. Can you help me? Of course. Can you help me? Sure. Can you help me? Certainly, right? These are just uh, some options, remember? Ahí es, no quiere decir que son las únicas opciones que van a utilizar, son algunas opciones, right? Okay, what happens when we want to give a negative reply? Can I open the window in here? Mm, actually, I would prefer it closed, right? Actually, I would prefer it closed. In case, imagine it is very windy, that's why you don't want it open. So you say, mm, actually, I would prefer it closed. Or if you have a baby too, right? I'm sorry, but I'm cold. I'm sorry, but I'm cold. Cool. Okay. Can we sit here? Se han fijado cuando, cuando va a algún restaurante o al food court, siempre hay alguien que le pide la silla que está vacía en su mesa o que quiere sentarse con usted a su mesa. Have you noticed that? ¿Mm? ¿O nunca les ha pasado? Yes. Okay. So it's in that case, you can say, can we sit here? Sorry, the seat's taken. Sorry, right? the seat's taken. Or you can say, I'm sorry, you can't. Someone else is sitting here or someone else is sitting there. Yes, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but you can't. Someone else is sitting there, yeah? Oh, sorry, this is taken. Uh, check. Even when you say sorry, oh, I'm sorry, yes, 
it makes the negative reply more polite. No es lo mismo que le diga, it's taken. Y a veces andamos así como de pocas palabras, ¿verdad? Queremos ahorrar saliva. <laughs> that it's not polite, just to say it's taken. Eso es muy rudo. So be careful. So in that case, if somebody asks me, you say, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but it's taken. And look at the person, right? That will make it more polite. Now, another thing, que se lo mencioné ayer, pero lo traigo de nuevo a, a, a colación, es esto. Eh, este es un modal. Y como modal, les comentaba ayer que los modas no ocupan S y tampoco ocupan auxiliar, ¿verdad? Entonces, por ejemplo, si yo quiero hacer una pregunta, yo digo que en I take the menu. ¿Se acuerdan? Y, y lo traigo esto porque al final como que había un poquito así de confusión y entonces, ¿qué hago con este Ken y dónde lo pongo? ¿Se acuerdan que cuando vimos el presente simple, decíamos que para toda pregunta que nosotros hacemos, tenemos que utilizar el auxiliar? ¿verdad? Pero eso deja fuera de toda regla cuando estamos hablando de modas. Los modas, ¿cuáles son los modas? Tenemos can, could, may, might. Must, have to, eh, ought to, had better, and need to, que ya lo vimos, ¿verdad? Entonces, con todos los modas que nosotros usamos, cualquiera de ellos, no importa cuál. Uh, no me tengo que preocupar por las terceras personas, right? Tercera persona del singular, he, she, ¿Qué hago con ellos? Nada. Nada. Sigue igual. ¿Verdad? Usted dice, ¿Can I take the menu? ¿Can she take the menu? ¿Can he take the menu? ¿Sí? No, no tiene que preocuparse de terceras personas porque las heces no existen. ¿Verdad? No con modas. Con los modas no usamos, no, ahí no le ponemos atención a la tercera persona. Can I take the menu? Can you pass me this out? Or can you pass me the newspaper? Pasa, ¿Me puedes pasar el newspaper? Right? Bueno, el periódico. ¿Me puedes pasar el periódico? Can you pass me the newspaper? Can she sit next to me? Right? Can she sit here? Can she sit? ¿Sí? No, can she sit? Right? O can tampoco. Entonces, no hay problema. Entonces, es como que se ocupara I o como que ocupara you. ¿Sí? Can we pay you tomorrow? Oh, can we pay you now? Yeah, sure. Can we pay you tomorrow? No, better today. Right? Aquí, can they use the VIP lunch? Can they use? Can you? Can she? Yes, yes, she can. She can. Pew, pew. No. Yes. She can, right? She can sit there, okay? Question here. No question. Vamos, no vamos, question. Vamos a hacer una pausa. Y nos vamos a ir a la tienda antes de que algo malo pase. Y se nos olvide. Ángel. Present. Okay. Aristides? Present. Denia? Present. Edwin? Present. Fatima? Fatima? Isabel? Present teacher. Luis Mauricio? Present teacher. María. Present teacher. 
Marisela. Marisela. Marlene. Present. Maura. Present. Nice. Nidia. Oscar. <coughs> Oscar. Ricardo. Aún va manejando, según. Ah, ok. Teresa. Uh -huh. Walter. Yesenia. Present teacher. Nice. Yuri. Present teacher. Hoy sí se acordó de <laughs> Ya ve, ya ve, en los últimos días me ha cortado. Voy a tener que poner de primero para... La vamos a pasar para arriba. Le vamos a agregar una A al nombre. Sí, Alexandra, para... lo voy a poner al revés. <ríe> es lo malo, Yuri, de tener el, el nombre. Si yo estuviera en esa lista, usted no sería la última. La, la última sería yo. Por la Z de Zoila. Como, como dice Ángel, cuando había una actividad que iba a ir en orden alfabético, a él le tocaba primero. Pero como generalmente los que empiezan con A dicen, no, pero ahí empieza al revés. A mí me tocaba. Entonces ahí. Ser es, la primera. Es de ventaja tener la última o la primera letra, sí. Ventaja y desventaja. Sí, bienaventurados los que están entre las letras de en medio del alfabeto. Bien tranquilos. Yo, yo. <risa> Ahí bien galán. Sí. No problem. No. No problem. Vamos a ver. Ok, volvemos a la presentation. Vaya, no question here, right? No. Vámonos no al next. Check. Después de can, we use the infinitive. Eso pasa, eh, eh, cheque, el infinitive sin to. O lo mismo que decíamos ayer, the base form of the verb. ¿sí? Entonces, se lo pongo así porque de repente en algún lugar lo van a agarrar como infinitive plus to o without to. Without significa sin. Right? Sin. El infinitivo sin fin, sin, sin tú, right? Without tú. En otros lugares le van a decir the, the base form of the verb. The base form of the verb es el verbo que está así, sin conjugar, right? Cuando usted conjuga el verbo es que ya le agrega otras cosas. Pero en forma base es el muy verbito, right? Sin tú. Check the examples. Can I pay by credit card? Can I pay by credit card? Nunca decimos esto. Okay? Never. Can I to pay? Uh -uh, no. Can you post this letter check? A ver, mouse. Can I pay by credit card? Can you post this letter for me? No decimos que en YouTube post. Never. Ok. No to after can. You don't need do tampoco. Right. Tampoco usamos ni do ni das en este tipo de preguntas. ¿Se acuerdan lo que les decía al principio? Cuando nosotros hacemos una pregunta con cualquier verbo. Y les digo esto porque. Cuando ustedes buscan listados de verbos, entre, los li entre las listas de verbos les aparece el quién, se han fijado. Se han fijado en eso. Que entre las listas de verbos que ustedes cargan, ahí va el quién, pero el quién no es un verbo. O sea, no tendría por qué estar en esa lista, porque el quién no es un verbo, sino que es un modal. Y como modal... Él no necesita del auxiliar, ¿sí? Entonces, no usamos, a ver, vamos, no usamos ni do 
any does in the question. Okay. Now, this is because can is already an auxiliary verb. Sí. Es un auxiliary verb, it's a modal verb. Es como el verbo to be, ¿se acuerdan? Cuando vimos preguntas con el verbo to be que les decía yo, el verbo to be no necesita do, no necesita das. ¿Sí? Él vive solito, se baña solito, se cambia solito, es como un niño grande. ¿Right? Entonces, el modal es igual. No necesita de ningún auxilio. And look at the example. So you say, can I sit here? Nunca do I can. Esto no. Right? Y les digo esto porque ya me han dado preguntas así de ese tipo. No ustedes, ¿verdad? Do I can? No. No do I can. Con, el, con los modas y chequen. Que eso pasa con todos los modas, right? Con ningún modal utilizamos auxiliary. ¿Sí? Can I sit here? Can I go out? Can I come in? Can I live early? Can I eat something? Can I sit down here? Can I open the window? Can I close the window? Entonces, no importa qué pregunta o qué respuesta usted va a hacer. No auxilio. Ahora. Teacher. Yo, uh -huh. I listen. Uh, sometimes you can do it. Ah, pero eso es diferente. Cuando usted dice you can do it. Ahí le están dando permiso. Vaya, imagínense que usted me dice, can I touch the piano? You can do it. Este do es un verbo, no es auxiliar. Can I touch the piano? Yeah, sure, you can do it. Can I play the piano? Yes, you can play it. Right? Yes, you can play it. Can I listen to the radio? Yes, you can listen to it. Entonces, Es, es lo mismo, right? Yes, you can listen to it. Es el, el verbo, aquí es verbo. Ahí no es auxiliary, no es modal. Digo, no es auxiliary el do. ¿Sí? El problema es cuando queremos poner el do al principio de una oración, como cuando le digo, do you have a car? Do you live in San Salvador? Do you play soccer on Sundays? que utilizamos el do para hacer la pregunta, porque en inglés no es posible hacer preguntas sin auxiliar, ¿verdad? En español y en francés no existe el auxiliar. Pero en inglés yo no puedo hacer una pregunta sin auxiliar. Tengo que. Uh -huh. Aunque a la hora de traducir la pregunta, ¿dónde se queda el auxiliar? No se traduce. Porque no existe en español. No hay forma de traducirlo. En lo único que usted ve que es pregunta es en la entonación. Right? Uh -huh. Pero en este caso es si sí puedes hacerlo. Es el verbo hacer. Right? Thank you, teacher. Ok. Any other question? No question. Ok. Los voy a mandar a trabajar. No. Sí, la voy a mandar a trabajar. Vamos a ir a, a trabajar estas, estas preguntitas. Como, como ya saben, ¿verdad? A ver. como, como ya saben, uy, espérenme. Ah, es que no sé. <risas> Qué chistosa, tiche. Bye. ¿Cómo se me olvidó? Ahí está. Les voy a copiar las preguntas. Como ya saben las reglas de cuándo vamos a usar el quién, cuando, cómo se usa el quién, cómo se responde, cuáles son las opciones. Aquí yo les he puesto solo preguntas, ¿verdad? No les he puesto respuestas, solo preguntas. Pero... 
ya les voy a pegar los dos bloques de preguntitas. Solo son seis. <coughs> Solo son seis. Para que ustedes la, la escojan la mejor opción. Para completar. ¿Les conviene más aquí en el chat de Zoom o lo quieren en el WhatsApp? WhatsApp. Sí. WhatsApp. Vale, allí va ya en Zoom. Este, en Zoom también, teacher. Para, para Ángel. Que a Ángel le gusta en Zoom. Thank you. Voy a dejar de compartir porque si no me va a regañar su. Me dice, estás compartiendo tu WhatsApp. Estás compartiendo mejor. Mejor lo cierro. Vaya, vamos a ver. Ahí está. Ya les mando la próxima. Ah, ahí está. What you're going to do is choose the best option, right? To complete the sentences. Okay. Vamos a hacer los zooms. I'm going to send you in groups of three, three, four, four, two. There you go. Mm -hmm. Groups of three. Ready? Ready, ready, ready? Yes. Yes, yes. Yes, teacher. Ahí vamos. Teacher, y en la segunda sí es eh, cam. Ajá, y tiene que escoger cuál es la. Diferencia? Tiene que escoger la respuesta correcta. Mm, ok. Uh -huh. Según lo que les estuve explicando, cuál es la respuesta correcta. Vaya, chequen si se pueden unir al grupo. Yesenia, Maura y María, ¿las tengo aquí todavía? Perdón, teacher, tuve una emergencia aquí en la casa, por eso me tuve que ir un momentito, mil disculpas. Ah, ok, no problema, Yesenia. Este, dígame, eh, de, estoy en alguna sala. Sí, les he mandado a una okay. sala. Si no okay. les aparece ya la llamada, la puedo mover a otra para que les aparezca. Está bien, Ticha, está bien. Veces, Mil disculpas. No problema, yo sé cómo está su situación. Vamos a ver, a veces al moverlo le da ya la opción de, 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 de irse. A ver si ya les aparece la opción. Maura y Mari, no les aparece la opción de unirse. Ahí está, muy bien, Ma, eh, Maura. Ok. Great. Me ha quedado aquí. Ah, María. Hombre de la risa. Don Edwin también. <ríe> Low <Lucky show. ríe> ¿Cómo van? Don Edwin no lo veo. Sí, Maura. Mm -hmm. Maura no está aquí, solo Luz Mario, Luis Mauricio. 
pero sí estaba Don Edwin. Ahí estaba. Aquí estaba Don Edwin también. Ya lo mando. Pero que estábamos copiando la pregunta. Sí, ahorita lo, ahorita lo acabo de ver que volvió a entrar, quizás se había desconectado. Uh -huh. Vamos a ver si logra entrar de nuevo. Sí. Ahí está ya. Hola Luis. Hoy sí. ¿verdad? Hoy sí, ya estamos los cuatro. Excelente. La teacher Mary no está bien, está Mary. María. Uh -huh. Sí, a, a Maura ya la dejé. Para Maria. que no vaya mucho. Uh -huh. Ok, teacher. En the first one. Can you? Can I take? Can I take? Es la primera, vea, Luis. Mm, yo creo que sí. Sí, sí está bien. Teacher, we finished. Finish. Wow. Let's see, can I take this trip? Can my friend stay for dinner tonight? Can she take some next month? Can you open the door? Can you pass me the newspaper? Can I leave it late? Sure. Ooh, very easy. A piece of cake for you, right? A piece of cake. Because uh, and it is a piece of cake uh, because you gave us all the keys. So um, exactly, exactly. It, it's easy to discard. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh, exactly. So you know you have to take the base form, no to, no ing, right? Exactly. No s, uh, no do. For, for example, this? Uh -huh. No way. No way. Not possible. Definitely oh. not. Right? Definitely. Great, great. Voy a ir a ver cómo están los demás y ya los jalo. Okay. Pass me the newspaper. Pass me the newspaper, please. Can you pass? Do you can? Do you too can? Hello? Hello. Can you? Can you? No, can you? Yes. Yes. Can you pass me the newspaper? Can you pass me the newspaper? Okay. Leave early. I can. Can I? Do I can? Can I? Can I? Can I? Hasta transformada lo puedo saber que bárbaro muy bien. Es que así lo de un solo y ocupo menos páginas. Ajá. Uh -huh. Yes, definitely. Hi, hi. ¿Cómo vamos? Hi. Yo creo que ya estuvo, I, teacher. Sí. I finished. Uh, very good. Ah, pues ya lo llamo. Hi, hi, Mary. Great, great. Everybody coming. Hello, hello. Hello. Oh. <laughs> Everybody coming. Yes. Yes, I guess, yes. Great. Okay, I'm going to share.
Let's see, which is the first one? Take, can I take this chair, please? Can I take? Can I can I take this chair, please? Great. What about number two? Can my friend stay for dinner tonight? Mm -hmm. Number three. Teacher, I have I have a question. I have a question. I don't know if I can do it. About about cans. Uh, it, 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 can't is not the answer totally, but uh, in another context, how can we use cans? Please get some cans of soda. Pero ya no es can, sino que can. Can. Can you can. please buy? Imagine if I tell you, can you please buy some cans of soda? Right. Uh, I, I, I have heard to a uh, trash can. Oh yeah, the trash can, the basurero, right? Okay, okay, okay. Thanks. Okay. What about the next one? Number three, can she? Take. Can she take the exam next month and not next? I'm not next week. week. Mm -hmm. Great. And what about this one? Can you? Open the door for me, please. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Se me perdió el mouse. Can you open the door for me, please? What about the number five? Can you, can you pass me the newspaper, please? Uh -huh. Can you pass me the newspaper, please? And the last one? Can I leave early? Can I leave early? Yes. Mm -hmm. Can I leave early? <clears throat> questions. No questions? No questions. Okay. No question. Now we will work in the manual. You're going to go to page 44. Go to page 44 in the manual. Forty-four. Ready. Let me share. Here you have a you have a reading. You're going to read about printer qualities and answer the questions below. You have color, resolution, the speed, the memory, and then you have a couple of questions to answer. Why is color important for some users? What does DPI stand for? Why are color printers more expensive? What is something important for someone who prints a lot? What's the most or what's the amount of memory that most printers come with? Okay, let's read. <clears throat> Let's read the, the, the text, please. Pay attention and then you tell me if you have problems with pronunciation related to any word, right? Okay, color. <clears throat> color is important for users who need to print pages for presentation for maps and other pages where color is part of the information. Color printers can also be set to print only in black and white. Color printers are more expensive to operate since they use two ink cartridges, one color and one black ink that need to be replaced after a certain number of pages. 
users who do not have a specific need for color and who print a lot of pages will find a black and white printer cheaper to operate. Resolution. Printer resolution, the sharpness of texts and images on paper, that's the printer resolution, right? Printer resolution is usually measured in dots per inch, that's DPI. Most inexpensive printers provide sufficient resolution for most purposes at 600 DPI. Speed. If you do much printing, the speed of the printer becomes important. Inexpensive printers print only about three to six chips per minute. Color printing is slower. More expensive printers are much faster. Memory. Most printers come with a small amount of memory. For example, one megabyte that can be expanded by the user. Having more than the minimum amount of memory is helpful and faster when printing out pages with large images or tables with lines around them, which the printer threads as a large image. Okay, that's why when you see a page that takes a line around like this, it takes longer to print. Have you noticed that? It takes longer when you have a like a marquito right on the page because the, the printer takes it like if it is a big image. Okay, any questions about pronunciation in any word? No question, no. I have a one word and in, in the line said, color printers are more expensive to operate science they used to ink, ink, ink. I don't know what to say. Cartridges. 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 Okay. Thank you. Okay. Remember DPI, right? DPI is measure in dots per inch dots per inch that's DPI. okay well i'm going to send you right now to the room okay i'm going to make different rooms remember we are on page 44 right in your manual page 44 i'm going to remake uh, the groups mm -hmm. so you work with different panels what are you going to do in the groups now? Go through the reading about printers, printers color, resolution, speed, and memory, and then answer the questions. Ready? Okay, ready. Okay, perfect. There you go. Okay, check if you can join. No les aparece llamadita ahí. Si no los vuelvo a mover. Check María y Ricardo. I moved you so you can go to the other room. Great. Okay, Ricardo is gone. Ah, pero is gone. Out. Okay, Maria, check if si puede unirse.
gustan, les, les leo y me avisan cuando salga okay. algo. Ok, Isabel, preguntas. muy bien. Ok. Eh, dice... Color is important for user. Ahí está, ya. Ahí está la primera, ¿ya? Ahí está la primera, ya, Isabel. Yes. Que dice la primera. Why is color important for some user? O sea, eh, yes. ¿cuál es el color más importante? Entonces ahí vamos a contestar. Vamos a ver. Ahí está la primera. Dice, provide sufficient resolution for most. Purpose at six one hundred DPI speed. If you do much printing, the speed of the printer becomes important. Inexpensive printers print only about three to six sheets per minute. Color printing is slower. More expensive printers are much faster. Memory. Most print, printers come with a small amount of memory. For example, one megabyte that can be expanded by the use. Para darle, darle okay. eh, puesta. Well. Quiere well. empezar. Well. Okay. Dice, color is important for user who need to paint the page for presentation or map. For that minimum amount of memory, it's helpful and faster when printing out page with large image on table or table with lines around them which the printer treats as a large image. Okay. Where is the now, como, so, ya vino, como ya vino la teacher, vamos a resolver las preguntas. Continue. No, es, ya terminamos ahorita. Okay. okay. First Wait, question. For some uses, black and white. Color. Why is color important? Espérenme que hoy ya no, no puedo corregir aquí usted en el documento. Es, me toca escribir las aplicaciones. Mm -hmm. <laughs> For some user. Why? What is color, why is color mm -hmm. important? Why is color important? Yeah. ¿Por qué es importante el color para algunos usuarios? A this color for tantra for some use in another who need to print page for presentation or maps and other page where color is part for information. Entonces a color red, blue for another the information for mention. Okay. Sigamos. Eh, what does eh, stand for? ¿Dónde va? Quiero ver, quiero ver, quiero ver. Color printer. ¿A dónde va? Ah, oh, no, la, la, la segunda. Ah, vaya. Quiere leer la segunda. Vaya. Yeah. No, 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 no lo he encontrado, compañero. Vaya, Marlene, ¿quiere ayudarnos usted a leer? La segunda, Resolution. Sí. Resolution Pink. Resolution the Charted of Next eh, Image of Better in Usually Shorted in Dog or Int. Much in a pen painter provide sufficient resolution for most purpose at <laughs> 600 <Arte. Arte. laughs> DPI. 
DPI. Bye. Bye. Ah, va, perfect, perfect. La pregunta es, ¿qué significa DPI? Uh -huh. DPI quiere decir dots per inch. ¿Ya lo vieron? ¿Dónde está? ¿Qué? Yuri, ¿ya lo vio? Sí. Vaya, entonces escribanlo. Dots per inch. inch. Eso quiere decir DPI. 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 Uh -huh. DPI. DPI. Nos está, nos está vigilando la ticha. Estoy no. vigilándonos. Ajá, ahí está escondida. <risa> <risa> Ni me había visto. No la habíamos visto. Bien, voy a leer yo la siguiente. Ok. Speed. If you do much printing, the speed of the printer becomes important. Inexpensive printer print only about three to six sheets per minute. Color printer is slower. More expensive printer are much faster. La pregunta. ¿Cuál color? ¿Cómo sería? ¿Qué color? ¿Cuál es el color? ¿Cuál es el color? Preciso. Vamos a ver, ¿cuál? You are in which question? Three teacher. Check in why. Sí. ¿Qué significa why? ¿Por qué? ¿Qué le estoy pidiendo? Que contestemos la pregunta, ¿verdad? Ajá, ajá, no, pues sí, pero, 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 ¿qué le estoy pidiendo ahí? Reason. ¿Por qué el color? Eh, Las impresiones la de color. ¿por qué son más la caras. Impresora de color ¿Qué las impresiones de color. Son más caras, ¿verdad? Ajá, exacto. ¿Por qué las impresoras de color son más caras? Ah, bueno, porque eh, son más rápidas. Dice aquí, more expensive printer are much Faster. Are faster, exactly. Uh -huh. faster. Entonces, the printer are much faster. Are faster, faster. Verdad, much, much faster. Mm -hmm. uh, nos dio poquito tiempo en el otro porque nos tenía preparados aquí. <laughs> What is sometimes important for some to print a lot? Sería el, la, la cuarta y la quinta vamos a contestar ahorita en memory, ¿verdad? Number. Number four. Uh -huh. Number four. Um, Refilarse después de un número de páginas. Entonces, eh, ¿serían más caras? En el número 3, porque como no está hablando de páginas, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. También podría sí, sí. ser porque es más cara la operación, donde dice are more expensive to operate since they use to I. O in, no sería a esa la respuesta, Isabel. <coughs> Donde dice color printer are more expensive. Pero empezar quizás desde, desde de are more expensive to operate. Que son más caras, son más caras uh -huh. porque operan eh, con dos colores, ¿verdad? color sí. negro, color blanco. No sería esa la respuesta. No. Color printer are more expensive to operate since they use to ink. Sí, esa, esa es cartridge. Uh -huh. Porque 
Operan con dos cartuchos, algo así. Ajá, ajá. Entonces sería, desde la respuesta sería entonces Armor, porque son, son más caras, porque operan con dos cartuchos y etcétera, etcétera. ¿Creo yo? Yes, yes. Entonces empezaría con ar, Armor. Armor Expensive. Armor Expensive. To the opera since they use to int Carting, o sea, los cartuchos, yes. one color mm -hmm. and black. Hasta ahí sería, ¿verdad? Donde yeah. está yes. el, el paréntesis. Yes. O hasta donde está el punto, Isabel, o donde dice que necesita refilarse después de cierto número de páginas. The, that needs to be replaced after. ¿Sería hasta el punto o solo sería hasta la... Hasta el paréntesis. Hasta el paréntesis, ¿verdad? Ok. Hasta ahí lo podemos dejar. Ah, ok, ese es el número 3, ¿verdad? Yes, yes. Muy bien. <coughs> número 4. Sería... Is... What is sometimes important for some me go print a lot? Ese sería. No, copia, uh -huh. Sometimes, yo leí por aquí eso. Yo lo leí, yo lo leí. Aquí es color printers are more expensive expensive to uh -huh. operate designs they because they use to in cartridges. Uh -huh. Because because use uh -huh. Sí, bueno, pensé que podríamos ponerle The color printer are more expensive Is necessary, teacher? Remember or, that you can give a long answer or you can give a short answer Sure, sure, mm -hmm. okay Short answer, sí, short answer <laughs> Acuérdense que dependiendo qué tan formales quieren ser así ocupa o respuesta corta o respuesta mm -hmm. larga Right. Correcto. Mm -hmm. So if you want to be really formal, use a long answer. Yeah. It's semi-formal. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Me yes, tocaba yes. ser informal. Yeah. Sí. <laughs> We are tired. Very, very tired. <laughs> Sí, este día huele a viernes, no sé por qué. ¿Verdad? Ay, sí. <risa> Yo sentía que ya era sábado, entonces dije, ah, pues sí, ya voy a descansar otra vez. Voy a trabajar <risa> mañana. ¿verdad? Sí, tocó otra vez. <risa> mañana solo mediodía voy a trabajar, gracias a Dios. Ah, vaya. Descanso la mañana y voy en la tarde. Qué chido. A dormir hasta mediodía. Yo voy sí. de clases desde las 7 de la mañana hasta las 2 y media de la tarde. Y mañana y luego, me conecto a las 7 de la mañana otra vez. ¿Cómo logra levantarse a, para estar vivo a las 7? Digo yo. Cabal, no es... sé. Y, y más admirable es mi esposa. Porque ella se levanta a las 5 y media. Porque mm. a las 6 tiene clases. Oh, ella es, entra a las seis porque ella está con la Academia Europea. Entonces eh, a las seis tiene clase. Sí, porque no tiene nada. Wow. Yes. Ay, she makes breakfast. Eh, Empiezo eh. a revivir a las seis y media. Ella oh, <risa> eh, está de pie hablando en inglés. Ah. <risa> Making, making the, the, the breakfast and, and but, preparing but, the coffee. But what about the students? Are they awake at that time? Or just the teachers awake? No, no, no. 
they, uh, she as a she's a student. Ah, okay. Mm. Yes. It's not the teacher. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> wow. No, no, she's a student, but she is a a very good student. Uh, a very good student. Fifth module, fifth module, or, or six. I don't remember. A role model. A role model. She's a role model. Yes. Explica que es un modelo a seguir. Yes. Exactly. Totally. A role model. Totally. Yeah. Wow. I I can I can uh, get up to six. I can. El I cerebro está dormido. No, but but there is a difference, Angel. You mm -hmm. are an old. You are an old. She mm -hmm. is an early bird. Uh -huh. <laughs> early bird are people who are at. Six o'clock in the morning, they are dancing, they are moving, they are happy, they are awake. Mm -hmm. Yes. At, at this time, they are like. Uh -huh. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> it's really... That's an early bird, right? That's an early bird. An owl is somebody like us. We are awake at night, but at seven o'clock in the morning, we are like. <laughs> <laughs> A zombie mode. <laughs> so tell me to open the camera. <laughs> yeah. yeah. A zombie mode. Uh, the zombie yeah. mode. Yes. Yes. <laughs> but so this day, I I finish very very tired, and I I only see my bed. <laughs> <laughs> But you are almost on vacation. Think positive. Think positive. Oh, first, God. Vacation is. We have many problems in the work. Vacation uh, is coming. Yeah. Vacation. It's coming soon. I hope. <laughs> I hope. <laughs> because I, my, my, my boss, uh, the principal of, of the school, today he's positive. He's positive to COVID. Oh my! Mm. When you say she's positive, what? No. <laughs> <laughs> positive, right? positive wow. COVID today, and the planning of graduation, the uh, end of course, and the certificates, and the uh, ah, all uh, everything is is a, a trouble. In, in this moment. When are you finishing? When are you finishing the year? We are uh, we are the finishing and the uh, 20 29th October October 29th is the last day of of, of, of class. And the graduation, all the things the, the graduation is all um I don't know. I think so. It's uh 26 November. Ah, November 26th. Time to but but este we have a, a miedo. No sé cómo se dirá. We have a fear. Your fear. Yeah, you have a for 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 him because he he is uh, older. I is a man. I, yes. I don't know why I thought it was a woman. He is uh, older. He have a. a How old is a, he? A, este six uh, seventeen seventeen oh, years old seventeen years old still young seventeen seventeen años yo siento que es bastante está así por todo you see how your perspective changes I yes. remember when I was a child I heard my mom was 35 years old, and you say, Mi mami está bien viejita. She was 35. <laughs> then I started to grow. I got to 30 years old, and then I said, 35 is very young. <laughs> <laughs> it's a perspective. 50, it's a difference. Yeah. 50 years <laughs> old. Now that I am almost 50, but you don't look. No. 
Mm -hmm. I will be 50 this year, this December. Wow. <laughs> so that's why I tell you 70, solo faltan 20 años. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but uh, your perspective she looks, changes. She, he looks no, no, no good. He uh, doesn't look young. No, <laughs> he don't look young. No, no, no. Is 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 he looks older and 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 sick? That is is my is my preoccupation. I I love you <laughs> because he, I he is my boss for nine years. Wow. Uh, so uh, it's a family. Of course, yes. of course. So you become a family. See yes. all everything. <laughs> yes. No, but hopefully he will be okay. He will come up. He will have to 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 call somebody else to do all the planning. Mm -hmm. Right. Because he won't be able to be moving and preparing him. But the graduation will be virtual, or presential. Uh, presential. Mm -hmm. A menos que el ministerio diga algo diferente. Pues. Sí. Yeah. The, the problem is that on last Saturday, we have a, a meeting with the parents and he announced the, the event so i i don't know <laughs> but, but but in this case parents should he, uh, he uh, did they have a, a understand the situation they have they to have understand they have to <laughs> have a reason <laughs> right that's the yes. thing. But hopefully, Angel, he will be okay. Thank you, teacher. Name? What's his name? Herbert Torreya. Okay. So so we can pray for him. So thank you. He comes. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> okay, Luis, continue. Okay, continue. I will go check another room. To okay. Thank you. What is what is Hi, teacher. Hi, I'm reading. Okay. What do you think about or? Answers. Just with color is important for users who need to print pages for presentations or maps and for the pages for color is for presentation. Yeah. To encourages that need to be repeated. You know the printer I have? Well, it's not that we print a lot, right? Especially now that we are visually, but we have a a, a printer which cartridges last a year. Wow. But the printer lasts only two years. And then. <laughs> but, but, so. but, okay, but if you make numbers like every cartridge is $35, 35 45 and you have to put like three different colors. In this case, the, the, the printer is $200, $199, right? $200. And each uh, cartridge is about $35, $37, something like that, each color. So at the end, we spend like $300 and something, right? But that's for the whole year. Uh, until we see that it's lowering the level, we need to put more ink. Then we buy the bottle, right? We buy the bottle to, to refill it. So to, to like $400, two years. Porque ya están programadas para no durar más de dos años. No porque podría durar mucho más. 
a la larga, teacher, son mejores las, las de tinta continua. Sí, es que esa es de tinta continua. El, ah, vale. el, eh, traen ya las cositas donde se le echa la tinta. Entonces compramos el, el botecito para echarle. Y ahí está. Dos años se llenan los cartuchitos para el año. Después en diciembre se le vuelve a llenar los cartuchitos para el siguiente año. Uh -huh. But uh, we print because we are all, all, all of us print something, right, in any moment. But it lasts a lot instead of being printing or photocopying because it has photocopy and, and printer, then it, it becomes cheaper. But we have to remember to print, uh, like not to leave it without printing for such a long time because then it stops working. Exactly. So that's something to keep in mind too. And with the memory, I didn't know that the printers have a memory. <laughs> I didn't know that. that. That is new for me too. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Okay, let's see what is the amount, what is the amount of memory that most printers come with? Mm -hmm. One megabyte, yeah, that's okay. Perfect, I guess you finished, right? Yeah. Uy, ya son las diez. Yes. We were you, talking. You, 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 are, you are making extra hours. <laughs> yes, yes. yes. I'm going to call you now. Hi, hi. I'm going to call attendance uh, before we check your answers, okay? Let's see, Angel, ya vino, no. Ah, no, lo está pichando. Hoy nos pasamos de tiempo, teacher. Estaba bien amena la clase. Sí. Mire, se estaba revisando la pregunta y hablando de impresoras con Aris. Y es cuando veo. Uy, le digo yo, sí, ya es hora. Vamos a ver. Eh, ángel. Ángel, Ángel, Ángel. Ángel. Se nos perdió. <risa> ¿Y dónde dejaron perdido a Ángel? I'm here, teacher, I'm here. Ah, okay. En el limbo estaba Ángel. En el limbo. En el limbo. Ok, Aristides. Present, teacher. Venia. Venia. Se quedó en el limbo. Está debajo del agua, anda buceando ahorita. Ah, ya vino. Ya vino, pero ahí anda. Venia. <laughs> ya la vi. Ya la vi. Ok. Edwin. Present. Fátima. No, Fátima today. Isabel. Present teacher. Luis Mauricio. Present teacher. María. Present. No. Marlene. Marlene. Present teacher. Maura. Maura, Maura. Hello. She says hello. And oh, ya está lloviendo, dice. Yes. Adentro dice que está lloviendo. Oscar. Oscar, se nos perdió Oscar. Eh, Ricardo. Present teacher. Ok, ya llegó, todavía no. No, ya casi. Ah, bye, bye. Teresa. ¿Ya Hablaron de lluvia y truenos. Qué oh. barbaridad. Ah, 
qué me la mandaron? Denia le mandó la lluvia. Aquí ya tronó también. Sí. Acá se va a caer. Teresa. Pero porque estamos bajo el mismo cielo. Puede ser. <risa> <risa> puede ser, puede ser. Ok, Walter. Present teacher. Great. Yesenia. Present teacher. Judy. Present teacher. Excellent. Excellent. Ahí está. Bueno, creo que hemos llegado al final. ¿Quién se queda conmigo? Yo no me acuerdo. Ah, Judy. Judy. Yo. Yes. Yes, yes. Okay, ya wow. llevo cinco minutos de después de las diez, así que solo le quedan tres. <risa> gracias, gracias por ayudarme. <risa> Mírenlo. Ese don Walter. <risa> bueno, sí, yo. Good night. Good night, Good night everybody. Good night, Good night everybody. Good night. Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night. <laughs> no, Judy, good night. No, good evening, your man, Judy. Mm -hmm. Los demás sí ya pueden dormir. No, terminé con la tarea. Bye. Okay. ¿Qué me cuenta? Pues ay, Tisha, ya queriéndome dormir. Ah, broma. <risa> y no me deja. <risa> no, son bromas ya. No, por un momento ya me estaba acomodando en el sofá y dije, no, a dormir, dije. Pero no, agarré vida de nuevo. Eso, muy bien. <risa> sí. ¿Alguna pregunta sobre alguno de los temas que hayamos visto? <coughs> en, en realidad, en el tema de Wall, donde ve, veíamos Wall, que si era para... Good. Ay, no me había quedado... Ajá, okay. no me había Good. quedado bien. Para... Vamos a buscarlo por aquí. Ah, el que era para reportar los issues, ¿verdad? Exacto, ahí en ese sí no, no comprendí mucho, le seré honesta. Vamos a ver. Este, quiero ver. Ah, sí, perfecto, este es caballo. Vaya. Cuando usamos Wood, Wood, dice que el Wood lo podemos usar no solo para reportar problemas no que también lo podemos usar para cuando queremos eh, pedir algo, pero de una forma amable. Exacto, ejemplo, ahí donde... Vaya, acá nos vamos a ir. Check. I would like to report my printer. Ahí está reportando. I would like to report an issue. Entonces aquí hablamos de reportar problemas, pero también lo usamos para ser polite, right? Cuando dice usted para ser polite, ahí sí ya me confundo. Lo primero amable. que dice si lo cata. Okay. Para, para ser amable. Para ser amable. Entonces, por ejemplo, cuando usted quiere pedir algo de una forma amable, eh, le dice a la persona, would you like, o I would like you to help me, right? Mm -hmm. Por ejemplo, acá. Si usted usa do, en vez de would, la pregunta no es amable, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Y es menos formal. Por ejemplo, si yo le digo, do you want something to drink? Es menos amable y menos formal que si yo le pregunto, would you like something to drink? Mm -hmm. ¿Sí? Más formal. 
es más formal. Entonces, Como más cordial decimos. Uh -huh. Vaya, pongámoslo en español. Como que usted le diga a una persona, ¿quieres? ¿Quieres agua? ¿Verdad? A que si le, a que si le pregunta, ¿le gustaría un vaso de agua? ¿Sí? Entonces el do you want es así como que quieres agua, quieres un vaso de agua, quieres comer, ¿verdad? Y el would así you como want... cuando como cuando las esposas de mala gana les preguntan a los esposos, <risa> mira, ¿y crees comida? <risa> Entonces, en este caso, si usted pregunta, would you like to drink something cold? Es más formal y al mismo tiempo es más amable. ¿Verdad? ¿Te gustaría tomar algo helado? ¿O quieres tomar algo helado? You see, uh, even the intonation changes. Right? Entonces, lo usamos el would no solamente para reportar un problema, ¿verdad? Como está acá. Sino, sino, like también people, para... sino que también lo podemos usar para poder ofrecerle algo a alguien. ¿Sí? Okay. Would you like? Y si va, por ejemplo, a un restaurante y usted quiere pedir comida, usted dice, I would like. I would like uh, a piece of chicken with salad, right? I would like an ice cream. I would like something to drink. No, they say I want something to drink, right? Mm -hmm. I would like. El would like es el que lo hace más formal. Check. I would like to eat some cheese. No, they say I want, hey, I want to eat. <laughs> no, verdad, sino que I would like. No es quiero, sino que me gusta. Estaría. El would, no importa qué verbo se lo, usted se lo agregue, le da la terminación ería. Ería. Me gustaría. Yes. Tendría. I would have. Tendría. Yeah. I would like. Me gustaría. Entonces, eso, ese ería es el que le agrega el would a, al verbo. Pues cuando usted dice, I would like to eat some cheese, está diciendo, me gustaría comer algo de, de queso, right? Would you like to, to have some water? Would you like to have some water? ¿Te gustaría algo de agua? Right? En vez de decir, do you want some water? Porque ese, hasta la entonación cambia, ¿verdad? Y, y, y deja de ser... Eh, amable y pasa a ser como muy, muy fuerte, podría ser. ¿Ya? She would like to eat a piece of cake. A ella le gustaría, no she wants. <laughs> she wants to eat cake. Right? In a, in a very informal way, podríamos decir así como que she wants to eat cake. Pero como estamos hablando de algo más formal, vamos a usar el word. I would like to ask you a favor. Yes. I would like to ask you a favor. Más formal, más amable. Que si le dice, Judy, I want to ask you a favor. Tendría que ser así como que demasiada confianza, right? Para que le diga así. Si no, le diría, I would like to ask you a favor. Más formal, de una forma más, más de respeto, digamos. De una más formal. Puede usarse también en negativo. Y puede decir, he wouldn't like to come with us. A él no le gustaría venir con nosotros. Ya, yeah. no le gustaría. I would like to stay home today. She would like to buy a new car. Le gustaría, right? Would you like to go to the cinema? Lo podemos usar para invitations también. Would you like to come? Would you like to go to the cinema? Would you like to eat an apple? Yeah. Would you like to help me? Yes. Would you help me? Me ayudarías? Yes. En vez de help me. <laughs> ¿Verdad? Uh -huh. Porque ese, aparte de no ser formal, no es como amable. Ayúdame. Así no. Ajá. Exactly. So, would you help me? Would you help me? Y si le agregamos el please, pues mucho que mejor, ¿verdad? Todavía. Sí, eso sí, recuerda. Uh -huh. 
But, for example, acá en la conversación que teníamos, I would like to report. I would like, y fíjese que acá, a pesar de que se está eh, reportando una situación, se está haciendo en una forma afirmativa, no en pregunta. ¿Sí? Porque lo que está haciendo es reportando. Pero dice, me gustaría reportar un problema. No quiero reportar un problema. Right? Porque ahí ya suena muy rudo. Uh -huh. pues no sé okay. si le queda ahí claro o si tiene alguna otra preguntita ahí. No, teacher. En ese sí no me había quedado claro cuando, eh, cuando comenzó a explicar ese tema. Pero hoy sí lo comprendo. Ok, perfecto. Vamos a ver. Okay. No more questions. No questions, teacher. Vaya, pues, pues la vamos a dejar que vaya a dormir. Entonces. Okay, teacher, gracias. Thank you. Okay, sí. Con too. la tarea ya voy al día. Ay, excelente, excelente. Uh -huh. Yo creo que ahorita no. Ya tú. Yes. Muy ok, teacher. Thank, thank you. Ya solo le va quedando el examen final. O ya estuvo también el examen final. Sí. Es. Uh, ya. Yeah. Así bien. mañana solo nos quedamos con, el, con la encuesta que vamos a hacer. Ajá, exacto. Perfecto. Así okay. es, teacher. Bye, Good night, teacher. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good. Blessing. Thank you, you too.